Alright, so we have a thrilling finish to game one of this ALCS. A walk-off home run at extra innings by Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So now we start off in the top of the sixth inning in game two. With a 3 1 lead, there's two outs. Jimenez at first and Grandal at third. Jose Bray with the plate. We've got Kevin Gosman pitching. Jose Abreu up to hit. Now that. Fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a ball to Chapman, and we go to the bottom of the sixth. That's out number three. Bottom of the sixth inning. And now the Toronto cleanup hitter, Lourdes Goriel Jr. The left fielder, Lourdes Goriel. Right, Michael Kopech, the pitcher for the White Sox in this one. The other way. And uh, caught. Makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Well, on the mound, very efficient. They able to produce an outcome. It seems like it's been the third or fourth pitch of just about every bat. Chapman in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Mm. And next offering is in for a strike. Tapped in front of the plate. And Chapman's out. Oh. Looks like they want a second to review it and possibly challenge the call if they think he beat the throw. Yeah, they see. challenge it just to kind of roll the dice, you know, Boone, and perhaps maybe they see something different as they get a look at some different angles. So they have decided and to challenge the play. Now he was out. So, well, we're up by two. It was worth a chance, but it didn't work out. So, that is indeed the second out. And now we can't challenge again. Comes up empty on this swing, 0 oh, 2 now. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Two now, nobody on. Swings and misses. Third out. All right, top Nobody of the seven. Now with the plate, Gavin Sheets. And a foul ball left side. Gavin. Jeez, yeah, this guy nearly crushed my hopes and dreams in game Next one. And he'll two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And next ball. offering misses. One and two to the count. Swing and a miss. The velocity you blasted it right past him. A big first down here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. We've got the leadoff hitter. So critical in setting the table when you've got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Next offering is foul back. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And there's two away. Uh, tough night at the dish, punching out for the third time right there. Just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now, not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to it. Next offering is in for a strike. Three down on strikes. The big righty strikes out the side. Down in order to go to White Sox. And it remains a 3 1. 
White Sox going with a new arm. Jose I think he's coming on. It's his job to keep this team in the game. Number 62. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the DH, Alejandro Kirk. Okay, I want Mesa warming up. The pitch. On the ground to third. Moncada tossed the first. One up, one down. Danny Jansen to hit here. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. And that is gone! 4-1 lead for Toronto. And they add to their lead. It's 4-1. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You are proud of that type of approach. So one out, nobody on. Jazz Chisholm now, one for two. The second baseman. Chisholm. In the air, left field. And that one pulled down by Jimenez. And there's two down. Back to the leadoff spot, the Blue Jays lineup. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. In there, and it's 0-1. Movement for the White Sox in their bullpen. Kendall Graveman preparing to come on if needed. Velasquez getting cranked up as well. Two outs. And he chases a high fastball there. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on this approach. Field two. Center field. Garcia under it. And we go to the eighth. Squeezes it. And that is that. <laughs> Toronto picks up one on this homer. It's now 4 1. All right, Tim Mesa's going to come into the game. Mesa. And he'll work on holding this lead. Welcome back. Here's the shortstop at the play. Tim Anderson. Line drive. That's a hit. On the first pitch that I throw to him, like really? Got something he can handle. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride low and out of the way early. Stayed inside. Calls it in for the Well, not in time. As he's able to get back to him with the double play. Okay. Luis Robert now. Ground ball right side could be two. Well, only three pitches to get three outs. And that's the end. Back now, the pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Vince Velasquez. All right, let's get Jordan Romano up and throw it. And welcome back. The batter will be the shortstop, Bo Bichette. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind on one. Next offering is down low. And the count even one and one. Line drive. Come on. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir. Out to short. Anderson picks it up. And Guerrero is set down. Here's Lourdes Guriel Jr. And yeah, the first offering is not close. Line 
Snyder, and that's, that's going to be into the gap for extra bases. Looks to turn and heads for second. And safely, it's a double, and his second hit. Throwing that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Swings through that one. <clears throat> Base it in the left. Uriel coming home. Uriel coming to the plate. He's in and it's 5 1. Picks himself up at RBI. Nice line drive to the full side. Cut it out front, but just stood through it nice enough and lifted it into the outfield. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. And first offering is now off. Jack off of first with two away. Round ball left side. They take the horse out. And that right. Well, Romano can't get a save anymore, but I do have him scheduled to come in, so let's just go ahead and do that. Trying to protect this lead. Back here in Rogers Center. And now up to the plate. Looks like he sacrificed the pitch right down the middle for tracking. So good here to do that. One one. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Guriel on his way over. Puts it away from the end. Here's a boy who minutes. And he swings and misses and it's up to the wall. And a pitch. Stays alive. Caught and missed. And out. White Sox down to the final line. Jay inside with that two strike fastball nicely. It just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it. It's catch that run. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Strike two. This one. Fly ball, this should do it. And that does do it. Jay's up two games, still nothing in the ALCS. Taking games one and two of the series. So the Toronto Blue Jays are now in the driver's seat with a 2-0 lead in the series. Yeah, it'll be hard for them to not start thinking about the World Series. And maybe that's premature, but up 2-0 in a seven-game series, they got plenty of reasons to be confident. Yeah, for a team that's in a 2-0 hole, they've really got their work cut out for them as we head to a new venue for the next few games. <laughs> Even more momentum, although the uh, it's already at max. It's already maxed out. Mm. All right. So next time out, we're gonna try to claim a three to nothing lead. <laughs> 